welcome to Jennifer Clown Metro AMA series, where we have experts to answer your questions, any questions related to next gen metro networks. I'm your host, Irene Zen, Director of Product Marketing at Juniper. Joining me today is Amit Bhatwaj, Senior Director of Product Line Management at Juniper. Amit, welcome. Today we have a question about why service providers are evolving their metro networks now. The service providers are looking at you know how, how some of these use cases are going to evolve uh, for them. Uh, you know, video continues to be a big driver uh, uh, from a network traffic perspective, and mid video is getting distributed into the metro locations with more and more caching happening. Uh, 5G is is a major major driver uh, because 5G not only brings more traffic, more number of devices, you know, but 5G also brings new architectures where. The, the 5G infrastructure from a RAN perspective or from a core perspective is a virtual virtual infrastructure. Um, and then, you know, the, the, the last, but the biggest, uh, the most important might be the enablement of new use cases. The new use cases are around the workloads uh, that get hosted into the metro locations. And many cloud providers actually have the, the dedicated teams working on these uh, use cases where you know, some of the analysts are expecting over 30% of these workloads would be hosted into the Metro. So data centers are basically moving where the customers are. That's why service providers are evolving their networks. To evolve their networks, to, when this happens, there's a big transition, you know, how the traffic patterns uh, change because traditionally everything is backhauled. So all the traffic flows are locked sort of north, north and south. But now, you know, with these with these use cases being hosted in the metro, the traffic patterns become more east and west uh, within the within the metro. So, so as a result of that, the bandwidth in the metro is going to grow really, really fast, much faster than other parts of the network. So, so the customers uh, or the service providers have to upgrade the networks to, to to deliver these new capacities, and with the architectures that not only address the traditional backhaul use cases but also the new use cases that, 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 that are with virtualization of infrastructure and also with the edge compute. So it's really a transition for them from a business perspective that the, that's why they're evolving this. And the last thing I wanna say is that, I mean, as they evolve the Metro networks, it also drives new revenue streams uh, for service providers, right? Traditionally, even everything is backhauled, all the traffic is over the top. So the monetization of that is very difficult for service providers because they're a conduit or a pipe in the middle and all the monetization happens in the cloud. But when the cloud moves where the service providers are sitting, those pipes are not just over the top. They will have dedicated SLAs, which means there's better monetization models for the bandwidth. Uh, they also uh, are gonna be sitting where service providers have the real estate. So it gives them an opportunity in partnerships with the cloud providers to generate new revenue streams around these new use cases. So. It's both the business need that's driving this. And then architecturally, it's really about becoming more flexible from an architectural standpoint to evolve uh, to the Metro networks, to the, to the cloud Metro architectures. Thank you, Amit. What else do you want to learn about the next generation Metro networks? Send us your question by email at metroama at juniper.net. And join us at our monthly live AMA session. You can find a date and registration link at the description box below. See you next time.